The connection between wolves and dogs is rooted in a shared ancestry, as dogs, Canis lupus familiaris, are descendants of the gray wolf, Canis lupus. Despite this close genetic relationship, the idea that wolves hate dogs oversimplifies the complex dynamics between these two canids. Understanding their interactions requires a nuanced exploration of their evolutionary history, social structures, and the impact of human intervention on both species. Evolutionary History and Common Ancestry Wolves and dogs share a common ancestor and belong to the Kennedy family. The domestication of dogs is thought to have occurred between 20,000 and 40,000 years ago, with humans selectively breeding wolves for specific traits, such as friendliness, loyalty, and utility. Over time, this selective breeding led to the divergence between wolves and the various dog breeds we know today. While wolves and dogs may appear distinct in terms of size, coat color, and behavior, they share a substantial portion of their DNA. This genetic similarity underscores their close evolutionary relationship, challenging the notion of an inherent hatred between the two species. Social Structures and Territorial Instincts Wolves are known for their highly organized social structures within packs, governed by a strict hierarchy. The pack structure is essential for hunting, raising offspring, and defending territory. Dogs, on the other hand, exhibit a more flexible social structure influenced by the dynamics of the human households they inhabit. When it comes to territorial instincts, both wolves and dogs can be protective of their designated areas. Conflicts may arise when territories overlap, leading to confrontations. However, this behavior is not necessarily indicative of hatred, but rather a natural response to defend resources and ensure the well-being of the pack or family unit. Human Intervention and Domestication The domestication of dogs by humans has played a significant role in shaping their behavior and interactions with wolves. Selective breeding for specific traits, such as tameness and suitability as companions, has influenced the temperament and social dynamics of dogs. Domesticated dogs have been bred for a range of purposes, including hunting, herding, guarding, and companionship. In contrast, Wolves in the wild have retained their natural instincts and behaviors, which may differ from those of domesticated dogs. The vast behavioral spectrum among dog breeds and the wide range of human-directed roles they play highlight the diversity within the canine species. Instances of Conflict While wolves and dogs may coexist peacefully in certain situations, instances of conflict can occur, particularly when territorial boundaries are challenged. Wolves, being wild animals, may view domesticated dogs as intruders, leading to confrontations. Human activities, such as habitat encroachment and the presence of food sources, can also contribute to conflicts between wolves and dogs. In regions where wolves are reintroduced to their natural habitats, interactions with local dog populations may pose challenges. The Importance of Coexistence Understanding the dynamics between wolves and dogs is crucial for promoting coexistence and minimizing potential conflicts. Conservation efforts, habitat preservation, and responsible pet ownership play essential roles in maintaining a balance between these two species. Education about the behavior and needs of both wolves and dogs is key to fostering peaceful interactions. Efforts to reduce habitat fragmentation, manage wolf populations responsibly, and implement strategies for preventing conflicts and shared spaces contribute to the well-being of both species. Conclusion The idea that wolves inherently hate dogs oversimplifies the intricate relationship between these closely related species. Evolutionary history, social structures, human intervention, and instances of conflict all play roles in shaping the dynamics between wolves and dogs. Promoting coexistence and understanding requires a holistic approach that considers the welfare of both species. By respecting the natural behaviors and instincts of wolves while responsibly managing domestic dog populations, we can work toward fostering harmony in the shared spaces where these fascinating creatures intersect. Ultimately, a nuanced perspective is essential to appreciating the complexity and richness of the relationship between wolves and dogs. Are you thinking about getting a dog? Let us know what you decide in the comments below. And if you know someone who's thinking about getting a dog, please share this with them. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for watching.